Hey, what's going on guys? It's Xdraws, and right now I'm bringing you guys the second Thermal FAMAS video of the day. That's right, two videos of the Thermal FAMAS in one day. I must be crazy, right? But anyway, uh, I uploaded one earlier, obviously, as you can tell. And if uh, this is the first Thermal FAMAS video of mine you're seeing, uh, if you didn't see the other one that I uploaded today, uh, do me a favor, go check that out. There will be an annotation in the top left-hand corner of your screen right now. All you got to do is click on that to uh, be taken to that video. And for your convenience, what I decided to do was do a, uh, a full circle annotation thing where uh, on that video, for your convenience, I also put an annotation at the end. That way, all you got to do, click the annotation on this uh, video. That'll take you to that video. Then from that video, uh, there'll be an annotation that'll take you to this video. And you can watch them both in chronological order. And to be quite honest, that video is probably better gameplay than this video. Uh, because of the fact that I actually get a nuke with the Thermal FAMAS in that one. So uh, check it out if you haven't already. So anyway, uh, I have something I want to talk about today that isn't gameplay related. Because the you know the, the tactical nuke with the Thermal FAMAS, I talked about the gameplay and the Thermal Scope and whatever. Uh, but if you want to see that, click the link again. I'm just totally pimping out that video for pretty much no reason. Just because I think it's a good video, I guess. Um, but anyway, the two things I want to talk about today that are actually related, even though I think most people view them as completely separate entities, is um, ratings and open lobbies. So uh, most people see these as separate. I view them as actually very connected. They actually uh, are related in a way, and I will elaborate on that. Don't worry. Um, but let's just first start off very simply explaining uh, what the two are. So ratings, very simple. It's just uh, when you guys come to a video and you watch it, and uh, you rate it by, you know, hitting the thumbs up button, liking it, um, or, you know, favoriting it, um, any of that stuff. And uh, that really helps out when you, you know, click those buttons. And again, it only takes a fraction of a second. And it, it's really, um, I think Woody's Gamertag said it best, it is the lifeblood of a YouTube channel. When you guys, you know, uh, rate the videos and all, it helps us out a ton, way more than you guys probably think. So, on to the open lobbies. Uh, the open lobbies, again, very simple. Um, it's just when a commentator, uh, you know, plays with his subscribers, interacts with his subscribers, talks to, and uh, gets to know really his subscribers. And I used to do these a lot more frequently. I used to be much better with it. I would do between two and three per week. And as I've gotten busier and busier, and I've had you know more things to do, especially with school now being you know in full swing, uh, I don't have as much time to do that. And I you know have a hard time getting the two or three a month. Uh, just the other day, I actually hosted two open lobbies uh, in one day on the weekend uh, because I was sick, I was indoors, and I was having fun uh, playing Halo Reach and Call of Duty 4, and I hosted an open lobby for each, and uh, I notified you guys via Twitter. So um, that's one way I let you guys know about open lobbies, and uh, another way I let you guys know is just by uploading like a quick like 30 second video or something on my channel, and then I take it down after the open lobby's over. So uh, not everybody knows about it because they weren't online when I uploaded the little video. But nonetheless, I do host open lobbies. Now, how are these two connected? Let's talk about that. Um, basically, I see them, uh, again, uh, connected, uh, sort of. Um, I'm going to refer to this a lot. I see it as a I scratch your back, you scratch my back sort of situation. Uh, basically, um, I run a YouTube channel. And what that entails is uh, quite a lot, more than most people would think. Um, to run a YouTube channel, I need to play games, record games. I need to render games, I need to record commentary for games, I need to upload games, process games, I need to title games, I need to promote videos, I need to, uh, or actually I don't need to, but I do do this, I do uh, read all my messages and I respond to a large portion of them, I, um, I interact with my subscribers with some open lobbies occasionally, that sort of stuff, and that's sort of the stuff that I do that you guys then reward me by uh, liking the video and you know uh, the likes on the videos I appreciate a ton and I don't think you guys I really don't think enough people understand how much of a difference it really makes in you know how much you're helping me out I mean the difference between you know 3,000 likes and a thousand likes is you know astronomical it's, it's, it helps out so much more um, so anyway uh, what I'm getting at here guys is that um, this whole thing where, you know, uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine really works if, you know, I, I create these videos and I do all this stuff and I host open lobbies and you guys return the favor um, by liking my videos, favoriting my videos and, and that sort of stuff. And it, it really does help me out and I appreciate when you do it. And I'm not begging for likes on this particular video. I'm just saying in general, uh, as a common courtesy sort of thing towards me, do me a favor and just like the videos when you come across them when I upload a video. Uh, just like it real you know, uh, quick. It, it doesn't take any effort whatsoever, and it helps me out. I will see you guys later. Bye.